Hi, I'm back today with uh, the steam engine that I built a couple of years ago and uh, it's Christmas and New Year again so I thought it might be appropriate to uh, get it going again. Uh, I haven't used it in about a uh, couple of years I guess and uh, I just uh, got busy with other, other things but anyways here it is, it's still around, it's still uh, alive and kicking so um, and here's the Christmas tree. Um, Quite appropriate for the start of the year. Let's just uh, turn turn the light off. There we are. Steam powered Christmas tree. I'd like to get a little more heat in there, but uh, it seems I'm uh, kind of running out of uh, gas in there. And um, maybe uh, the last improvement I, I, I uh, made on it was uh, this little contraption here that uh, holds uh, some oil and uh, as the steam uh, passing through and condensates, I guess, to some degree, it displaces some of the oil and uh, pushes it uh, into the cylinders and so on. So it makes a bit of a mess here, but that's okay. You just got to catch it uh, in a little uh, container. And it, uh, it, it's probably a good investment in the long run. It doesn't, uh, uh, you know, it helps uh, quite a bit uh, the, the pistons and the, the valves and uh, the, all the mechanics from uh, wearing out uh, too quick. Turn the light back on in here. The uh, little generator uh, requires quite a bit of uh, torque to move it. If I um, if I unplug it right now, I, I guess I'm at full throttle here, here and uh, I'm getting all the heat that I can get from what's left of this uh, propane tank. But if I remove, um, if I uncouple the generator, it goes a lot faster. Needless to say. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, running out of gas in here. Let's pick it back up. Oh, come on, get in there, you. Yep, need more gas. Anyways, here it is, and I thought you might enjoy uh, seeing it again, and uh, I'll wish you all a uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. All the best for 2019.